So today on Project Shop, we are absolutely overrun with high bay lighting. Now these aren't your typical high bay lights that I normally would get, like a HID or even an LED. So what these are is, these are induction lights. Now these came out, you know, they've probably been around forever, but they started coming out a lot um, when LEDs first kind of came out. They probably really never took off because it basically looks like a fluorescent bulb uh, with some weird contraption. Uh, looks really difficult to maintain. And I've actually only came across maybe five or six of these actual bulbs uh, in the 10 years that I've been recycling lights. And it was always just like the bulb. I've never actually got an entire induction light housing. And it's basically, they got an electronic driver, okay? Uh, or electronic ballast, just like an LED, you know? Future Energy Solutions. Uh, I guess they're not the future because uh, I very rarely scrap these things out or have ever seen them. I've never seen these before. Uh, maybe in other parts of the country, the more people deal with them, but uh, this is the first time I've ever gotten a load of these, and I got a lot of them. I think there was like 50 of them. I even got them stashed back over here. All the way back around. I mean, they're everywhere. So... There's pretty much going to be just take these apart. There's going to be no processing uh, of a ballast or anything. Um, I am curious about these because this is extruded aluminum. And it would be nice to get that off of there. I'm um, going to at least try. So what I'm going to do now is take one of these all the way apart. See exactly what tools I'm going to need. And what the process is going to be to get these apart as quickly as possible. Um, hopefully I can sit in a chair and do most of these because this looks like a lot of back-breaking work <laughs> Okay, here we go. So first thing um, I'm gonna open the top up See what we got here Phillips These are stainless. Alright, the washers are not. But the screws are. So, we do got a stainless bucket here. Uh, we'll see how much of that we can recover. And it looks like. I want to get all into covering that. Oh, there we go. So if we can just do that, that should pull out. That's all cast. I'm not worried about that one little screw. Okay. We're going to uh, actually, I know there's 44 of these, and I'd like to get the weight on everything, see how much it is. We can figure it out before we uh, get started. And if I, I'd really like to try to get these apart in less than two minutes. So let's see what we can recover out of here. This was from another one. I'm just going to throw that over there for now. That's going to be garbage. I have to get a trash can over here. And uh, we got this ballast here. And a Phillips. That's a good thing. Now these ballasts do look like extruded aluminum. Like a number one. Okay. So that's what this all that can go is number two. All right. Throw that there. We're gonna need a big container for them. For the cast. Now it looks like we need a big socket. No, oh, that's steel. Steel. 
and that's interesting so this looks like it's going to get a little tedious so what we might do is open all these up and then put these up on the table and do these all at once um i've never actually taken one of these apart But, it looks like, yeah, this is going to be a little tedious. These look like they'll screw out. This is going to be difficult. It's one of those where you got to kind of put side pressure on it. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. <laughs> Gonna have to manhandle it. Okay. So that there. I mean that's debatable but they're gonna call that uh, old sheet because it actually has some type of coating on it got a little nuts on the back side but it is just coming right out holding your fingers on it Let's see if any of that is stainless nope that's all steel okay except for now look at that chunk of aluminum on the back side see now you're getting into some micro scrapping yeah that's actually that's a piece of extruded okay good now these things got like a little bit of copper and some of that um, what do you call it that steel that ma uh, transformer steel that's real brittle then you got this I guess that's some type of gas bulb I don't know if it's fluorescent or what it is but Somehow they create a, a field and this thing lights up. So basically, I guess you could just take that to the local dump and uh, they recycle it as a like a fluorescent tube. Now down here, uh, as long as you're a resident and not a business, you can just take a bunch of lamps over there and they'll take them pretty much for free. Okay, so that there, man, that's almost... Uh, definitely aluminum that's almost extruded aluminum but I'm gonna say that sheet that, that can go with that that can go with that and then you got this stuff here I guess that's copper wire let's see yeah a little bit of copper oh this is gonna be kind of tedious getting this out of here right That's that transformer steel. I guess that can go as prepared. I wonder if that's worth more or less. Whenever I got in any transformers like this, I just threw that stuff right with the prepared steel. And uh, it kind of just blends right in. I mean, what else is it? Big heavy chunks of steel. Probably super magnetic. Probably a special grade, like that silica transformer steel that nobody wants to buy unless you got, you know, 10 tons of it. All right, I don't know if that's really worth doing all that, but, you know, it's more number two. Put that over there. And uh, let's see what we got here. 
No, I don't know if we need to separate that because that all looks like aluminum. Now these lights here, I didn't pay for these. As soon as I seen what they were, I really didn't even want them. But I figured they needed them out of there. If they were free, ow. Oh, I'm holding that with my finger. If they were free, at least I can make something on the aluminum and make a good video. Oh, big old chunk of steel right there. So I would throw all that uh, as prepared. Aluminum. That is uh, aluminum and steel. Now are we really getting tedious. Yeah. Prepared. Not that that's really holding anything. Extruded cast. Prepared. Plastic. And then we got what looks to be a cool little rod that's, I would assume, extruded aluminum. Oh man, it might take more than two minutes a piece for these. I was hoping to maybe knock them out. Oh, this is going to get super tedious. If that is extruded, uh, oh. Yeah, it seems to get harder. I might just break that off. Yeah. Or just leave it, because I might just be cast. No, it looks like it was extruded out of a machine, though. Usually, usually they got a tone to it. That sounds like extruded. I don't know, we'll chance it. Okay, uh, there we have it. So that basically just took uh, a Phillips head, a three quarter socket, and a pair of cutters. Okay, I forgot to mention, each one has like a stainless steel band holding the bottom of the lens on. So I got my most sensitive scale out here and we got 0.22 pounds for the four screws that were stainless and that stainless band cast aluminum 2.20 pounds all right i'm going to weigh this real quick and then i'm going to try to actually take that apart but i noticed something about these cast pieces they're identical except for this side they drilled a bigger hole to fit this right and they drilled a hole in the side here. This doesn't have a hole, but it's got a smaller hole. It's got an extra hole and four screws here. Now, when you look on the inside, it looks like these things are designed to be configured for pretty much whatever type of ballast or whatever, because where they drill the holes, they've already casted the little nubs to receive the, the thread and the screws, which is pretty cool. They figured, uh, to use the same half on both of them. It's the first time I've seen that. It's pretty good engineering on our part. This is pretty light stuff though. And, um, oh, we got, we got some numbers in here. Not for use in dwellings. <laughs> I wonder why. That's funny, it says re replace removable parts after servicing. Replace with 200 watt induction lamps. Wow. Warning, risk of fire. I've never seen a warning sign that big in any of these. <laughs> uh, I guess that's why these things uh, weren't too popular if they risk them burning up that bad. So, all right, now let's weigh this. We zero it out. 3.08 pounds. 0.55, now I'm gonna throw this stuff here in with the uh, sheet because I don't know if that is extruded or if they'll actually accept that. But we're just gonna say that sheet and it's uh, 0.77. Well, 
We got 1.54 pounds of heavy steel. Okay, let's see if we can't open this thing up. See what it looks like on the inside. Because rather than get 10 cents a pound, maybe we can get 50 cent a pound for some of this stuff. Oh, no way. Look at this. Oh, we might be in luck. Not only are we going to gain this aluminum plate, now that's that's glued in there. Look at all them transformers, man. Might be able to get that out of there. <sighs> that, you know what? With the right equipment, we might be able to get that right out of there. Except for these screws on the side. These things look like they are full of copper ah. that hurts the finger I've always thought about making a glove with like a piece of metal almost like a thimble uh, or maybe I should put a thimble on the end of a glove uh, so you can push bolts out now I don't know if that's no that's prepared steel but look at them big old transformers in there. Look at all that copper. And all these other little doodads. Let's see if we can't get that off of there. We need a bigger screwdriver. We already got that side started. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we just might have upgraded all that being extruded. Oh, we forgot some screws. That might have helped. Okay. Now, the rubber just coming right out of there. Heck yeah, look at all that. Clean extruded. We got the end pieces, more sheet. So we need to weigh that sheet back up, and I'm gonna to try to get extruded. Now we need to redo the numbers. Look at all that, man. This is heavy. I wonder if I knock them transformers off of there. Even if we sold them, even if I sold them as copper transformers, uh, but look at all that number two. That's got that, that's already just about there. That's clean. Now that's got a lot of stuff in there. I'll probably send that as number two copper uh, insulate. More metal. Let's see if we just knock the transformers off. like this is the route we're going to go because I mean I'm sure that's something low grade board I'm going to send it with the sheet metal because I don't want to mess with it beyond this but uh yeah look at all this that's all just busting right apart I put that with the number two copper, okay? I mean, 
That's a little, it's got a lot of paper. But, maybe number two insulate. Or we might just knock those off and send them as uh, transformers. You know, get more money for all this other stuff. I mean, that is a nice little chunk right there. That might, that might be number one wire. I don't see any tin coating on that. It's pretty thick. It's like, I don't know. We'll consider that number two. Rust this last one up. Now we did probably lose a lot of that ferrite, but look at all this copper we just gained, okay? Big old handful of copper and nice little chunk of extruded aluminum. Okay, 1.1 pound for the uh, shred and that is, I just threw that ferrite in there. I think it's only like two cents less. Okay, so I could probably get away with throwing this in with the number two copper from my transformers. And, I mean, if I separated that out like that, you know, if you do that, that's definitely transformer uh, rated copper. But I'm just going to consider this number two insulate and throw that in uh, with that. But that alone is going to be 2.2. And all together with the rest of the number two insulate, we get 6.6 .6. okay so i did some quick numbers and my gut instinct about these lights are absolutely right i knew as soon as i looked at them that i probably shouldn't have taken them or i should have charged for them uh, because anytime i've ever come across lights with plastic domes they're just like the cheapest of the cheap uh usually they got aluminum transformers or it's just not a lot there now i knew that when i took these but i've never came across this many and i just wanted to see and i figured it'd make a great video so you guys could know if it's actually worth taking these and what you should do because not only were they not worth a lot of money you're gonna have to get rid of this big plastic lens there's a lot of weight and you're gonna have to deal with this giant light bulb okay so i weighed this up in two ways one with breaking down the ballast uh, and recovering a little bit more copper and all that extruded aluminum and one with just selling the ballast off just selling the ballast off all this stuff is worth $99.69 if you break down the ballast you're going to gain basically an extra $27 for $127.27 now I've already got an hour in picking this up and I got about 30 minutes messing with them getting over here laid out like this so we're an hour and a half into it and you know it's only worth 99 dollars Okay, I've got all the lids open and all the ballast uh, loose. And that literally took about 22 minutes to do all the ones on the floor. As soon as I started the ones on the floor, I checked the time, it was six o'clock. So now I'm gonna go through and basically uh, clip all the wires. And then once I'm clipped, done clipping the wires, it's just coming back and cleaning up the ballast and that lid and then we'll get to uh, removing the bottom part. Okay, it's 640. We got all the ballast out, we got all the wire clipped. I will have to make one more cut with the wire, I think. Uh, got the whole bin full of cast. 
And I'm gonna have to break out the other bin back there because we're already out of room. Now the next part, I don't know how well that's gonna go because I gotta flip them over and pull that stainless ring off. I guess I could just flip them all the way upside down. Maybe I could just scoot through here on the uh, little cart and do that. Okay, it's 6.57. We got all the stainless rings. I took the plastic outside already. We got them all flipped up. And then the next step is just gonna be unscrewing those. And I'm gonna pile them right up on this table because that's gonna be a tedious part to do right there. And then um, we'll get all them out. And then it's just gonna be that last little bit separating that steel, the aluminum, and that plastic. Okay, we got them all out. And we got all that tedious work up on the table. 7:10, so we're about an hour and 10 minutes into this. So hopefully we can knock out the rest of this in the next 50 minutes, and we'll be within the two-hour mark that I was hoping for. So I'm gonna get right on removing this uh, cast and steel and plastic from each other. All right, it's 7.30. I got most of it broke down. Um, everybody and their mother just keeps coming by and stopping me from working, so I gotta take a break right now. Okay, it's like a whole two days later. I wind up getting tied up there for a minute, and then it was like almost nine o'clock by the time I got back in here. So I called it a night, and then I had some other things I had to do, but uh, we're gonna knock this out. I'm hoping I got less than an hour left, because I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure I'm already two hours into processing this, uh, which is taking way too long for what we're gonna get out of this. Um, I don't wanna spend another hour on it. I wanna get this stuff out of here uh, because we actually got some stuff to do that's actually gonna make us some money. Uh, this drum of wire. I got some transformers down in here. A whole other thing of transformers. And then this morning I went and picked up this. A whole bunch of HID light fixtures. This is one of the biggest HID light fixtures I ever picked up. And then down here in the bottom, we got tons of transformers. Okay, on this last one, I just want to kind of show you what I was doing and show you a little trick I learned back in 02. Um, when you got a bunch of screws and they're kind of rusty, now 90% of these were good, but I did come across every once in a while, you see I had to beat one with a hammer, it stripped out. And a lot of them look kind of corroded. So on those ones, what I would do is, right before I hit the trigger, you know, I'm already pushing down on this. I smack the back of the gun. And basically, you're giving yourself a way better chance that um, it's not gonna skip up and strip, and you're getting, you know, you don't have to sit there and kind of hog on it. You can just kind of tap the gun real quick and um, you know move on to the next one. These ones are coming out really easy. You know what I'm saying? If you do that, when you got rusty, uh, corroded, or old looking, or they're just giving you problems and you're you got a bunch of stuff and you keep stripping the same screw over and over, if you give it a tap while you're doing that, you know, you don't have to, you know, Rather than bearing down on it super hard if you can't get in that position. Um, and then these ones here, basically there's a, a nut and this is what I'm doing. I'm just reaching in and touching that with my middle finger. Rather than trying to sit here and do this, I'm just touching that corner and using my thumb to line myself up and get that off. The last one, you can actually twist it um, but I was just kind of keep going. And all you're doing is stopping that nut from spinning. 
these are nice and clean they're coming apart pretty good um, but sometimes you'll get them you'll see here I got some ones I just picked up today uh, they're actually super corroded and um, you know always gonna give you some problems so I'm gonna get all this crap cleaned up I'm gonna get these broke off here and uh, sweep the floor and whatnot and then I'm gonna get onto all that stuff over there on the table Okay, so what I was doing in the beginning, and which is probably faster, was just putting this in the vise like this and just physically bending it and bending it back and the aluminum doesn't like to bend, so uh, it comes right out. Because some of these will come out pretty easily. Other ones, they're pretty much stuck. So my other easy out I use is a three quarter that I have in my kit. The other ones I couldn't find, but then I found them in my toolbox. Um, I got a whole set of these. I think you can get them at Harbor Freight, there's like four or five in a set. And they work pretty good for doing stuff like this. Now when it grips on there, I'm just putting it in there like that, putting pressure and then hitting, hitting forward and it's kind of coming right out. And uh, that seems to be a fast way of recovering 100% of that extruded. That was a tough one, and look, it's still stuck in there. See, it stripped the whole end, but it's getting it out rather than breaking all that off in there. I know that don't mean nothing, but um, if it was a piece of metal and you had to clean it, that's the way I like doing it. Uh, if they're loose enough to where you can get one of these easy outs on it, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time uh, rather than doing it with a pair of pliers or vice grips or whatever else you use to get all thread out. Well, we got a decent amount of aluminum. Too bad this stuff is like super light. Um, barely weighs anything. So what I'm going to do now is just start blowing through these. Hopefully it don't take too long because we are way over budget on this job. Now I knew that going into it. I just wanted to show you guys and if anyone does decide to do any type of lighting like this, what you can expect to get yourself into and how much it's ultimately going to be worth. All right, this definitely is by far the most tedious set of lights I've ever done. And um, look at that. I messed my uh, glove up by doing this. I'm holding the uh, screw on the backside. Basically, this is what I'm doing. Starting with this one, I'm holding my finger on the back. Oh, that's been happening a lot. These things kind of got thrown around uh, when I moved them here transport them in, a, in a, the trailer and uh, they brought them down from the ceiling so who knows how they brought them down but anyway um, I'm unscrewing this by holding uh, my finger on the back of this right here and it's letting that nut go now that don't come out right there you're gonna have to come back to that one this is some real tedious stuff here okay that's coming off Okay, got to pull that out, getting a good piece of uh, sheet. That's questionable whether that's clean sheet or not. Because it's got that shiny film on it, they like to say it's not. And then you got to take this out. And then you can come back and take this out. Now, when this is on the light, let me show you. 
it has the wires underneath like this and these things which are like overlapped you know it's like a little rubber thing overlapping and if you're taking this apart and you wind up bending it this way or that way that wire starts wedging and putting weird pressure on this and then you can't get that bolt out so it's something i learned not to disturb them and uh if they do turn try to put them back in their position before trying to pull out that bolt right there now as you can see uh that's still on there and we just hold pressure on it hit it with the gun very tedious and that's that extruded piece and then i was just bending these open like this and uh throwing them to the side now i should have had a bucket sitting here with i could throw these in i could probably just use this one uh because that's all the steel yeah i should have been throwing them in there but whatever we recovered all that extruded ain't gonna be a second to separate that yeah and then that that's it so i don't know what time it is now it's 7 30 basically uh and we ain't even done we still got to recover this and i think that's it now that looks like a bunch of glue see i don't want to sit here and have to do this oh that's too tedious where's the hammer i need to find my hammer Oh. oh, this is going to suck. Just to recover that little bit. Um. Well, I'm going to have uh, transformer steel all over the shop. go ahead and clean up some of this stuff I think the battery on the GoPro died um, I'm not sure when but all that ferrite I wonder if that's worth more money I've always sent that stuff as prepared steel they never said anything so that's what we'll be sending it as. Oh, move my bucket on myself. All right. All right, I'm gonna put a new battery in the, um, the time lapse thing over here and then clean this up. And then that's it for these induction lights. I can move on to something a little bit more profitable. Um, I'm on the fence of whether I'm gonna pull this extruded off of here. I mean, it is just, let's see, it was. Eight screws. And that price is gonna go way up on that. clean sheet nice piece of extruded then we'd have to sit here man i don't know if i want to sit here and go through all that but that is a nice piece of extruded i'll, I'll think on that i might just pull that off that's a nice little chunk there and then that sheet yeah i think we're just gonna send those I'm already done with this stuff.
Okay, let me show you what I'm doing here. This actually wasn't too bad. This stuff is kind of like exploding, so I'm kind of sending it down into that corner, and I'm just kind of tapping these like that. Two taps, a little shake, and that stuff comes right out. It's actually going pretty quick. And uh, not too bad, you're getting some number two copper. And you're basically cleaning up that to prepared steel. I don't know if I could have got prepared with that stuff like that, but uh, sending it right down in that bucket. Probably should be wearing a respirator. I am wearing safety glasses. Um, but this stuff is really brittle. A hammer mill would have probably been awesome for this. Uh, it would have shattered this stuff. And then, you know, that that little bit of wire would have probably had a little bit of problem getting out of the machine, but I'm sure it would have done well. There you go. Shake it. There you go, all done. Oh, one more. Get all that stuff out of there. Now, a lot of this, um, oh, we got a, a lingo, we got some hiding. Let's see what we got back here. A whole mess on the shop back there. I'm probably gonna be cleaning up little screws for the next couple months and shards of this metal. Just like when I did those big old pipes when I first moved in the shop. Um, I'm still finding that insulation crap everywhere. A lot of little screws. Alright, now at this point, I could say I'm done. Uh, but, I think I'm actually going to clean these and get that, uh, See if I can't shorten this up. This is really bad when you got scrap mixed up in with your tools. That drives me crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna go this route, but let's see. It's eight screws. And we break it all the way down, it's an extra 30 bucks? I mean, we're going this far. Do I want to sit here and unscrew a whole slew of these? I mean, just unscrewing it, you get that. It's a nice little piece of extruded. 70 something cents a pound versus, what is this? I'm going to get less than 10 cents for this? You know? Seven times the amount. And then there's little screws here. See, this is the tedious stuff. I don't think I'm, I think I'm gonna throw in the towel here and just uh, weigh up what I got as is and call that done. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and dig into this. Where's my hammer? This is gonna be crazy. Although, bar is what I need. Split that right down the middle there. I'm getting little transformers off, man. I almost want to keep going. <clears throat> Maybe if I put this in the vise. I mean, that rubber's coming right out of there. Screws are coming right out. Kinda. Gotta push on them. And then... I mean, that rubber's coming right off of there. Yeah, this is, uh, I 
don't know if they would say something about that little residue. I mean, they buy painted, extruded. What's the difference? They'll paint it with a little bit of rubber. <laughs> but that's a nice little chunk, man. Then you got all this waste. You got more waste to deal with than this. I mean, this could be like really good hammer mill. Uh, you know? Even that little tiny one down there, look at that. Uh, like, you know? Now what? I've gone this far. all these little transformers oh look at that another little piece of extruded it's got a little screw on it though and one of those little copper things see i'm saying this is loaded with like good metal but that right there man that's a nice little chunk of transformers ah i think we're gonna have to do it yep and then we'll just sell this. Oh, look, look another little transformer. Send that with the sheet. And then we can send that with the uh, sheet metal. I guess. All right, let me figure this out. All right, it's 845. So that was another, you know, 30 minutes or whatnot to get to that point. I'm going to make the executive decision and call it a, 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 a complete job at this point. Um, I'm not going to spend another hour or so uh, I mean, Dad, we get good extruded and a pile of transformers. Man, that's a tough choice. Let me know what you guys would have done. I'm actually going to call it here. I'm just going to sell them as is. Uh, I don't want to invest any more time into this crap. I actually have to offload my truck yet. But there you go. That's uh, induction lighting. I wouldn't recommend picking this stuff up. Now this stuff here, a lot of them were breaking. Um, I'm going to take these down next time I go to the dump and uh, try to send them over to where they take the fluorescent lamps. And normally as a resident, they'll take them, you know, a couple normally they don't want you showing up like this um they might think you got some type of commercial operation going on <laughs>